the Queen may want to pop a pair of earplugs in her purse for grandson Prince Harry's wedding. The Foo Fighters have hinted they want to perform on the big day on May 19 and even got their practice in with their Brit Awards performance. Frontman Dave Grohl said, I've saved the date.The performance was good. It's nice to feel like a wedding band when everyone's at tables eating tiramisu. Dave's band, who picked up Best International Group, played at Harry's Invictus Games in 2014, and Meghan Markle's fiancé visited him after surgery on his broken leg. Dave said he was effing crying at the Brits when he met Millie Bobby Brown, adding, My daughter is a huge fan of Stranger Things. Hopefully he'll hold it together better in the presence of royalty. While her ex-girls allowed bandmate Cheryl Tweedy is hitting the headlines, it is Nadine Coyle making all the waves in the music industry. The singer is back with a new single. And it sounds like a tune I should have written, it's called Gossip. The track follows the release of Go to Work last September, which was her first new music in two years. Talking about her new single, Out Today, Nadine said, It is liberating to not care what people think. I have never spent time worrying about people's opinions of me. I always try to let my fans know that their opinion of themselves is what is important. Gossip is celebrating this in a very laid back way. That sounds like good advice to me. Cheryl should take note. After his triumphant Brits hosting debut, Jack Whitehall had already enjoyed one of the best nights of his life. And it only got better, with the comedian kissing double winner Dua Lipa at the show's after party. The comic, who I revealed split from actress Gemma Chen in December after six years together, was spotted cuddling and dirty dancing with Dua. The singer is also single following her breakup from musician Paul Klein last month. Pal say Jack thinks she is incredibly hot so made a beeline for her to celebrate her wins for Best British Female in British Breakthrough Act. A friend said, Duo is definitely Jack's type, he's always mega fancied her. They met years ago and often bump into each other because of work, but Jack would be up for spending more time with her. He had to catch a flight early yesterday morning so couldn't stay at the party as long as he would have liked, though he hopes Dua will be in touch. A fellow partygoer added, there was no denying the chemistry between them. She couldn't stop giggling as Jack gave her a cheeky kiss on the neck. Dua and Jack spent the night flirting at the Brits Warner and Ciroc after party at Freemasons Hall in London's Covent Garden, with other big names including Rita Ora, Calvin Harris, Holly Willoughby and Liam Gallagher. But as soon as Calvin arrived, Dua spent the remainder of the night in the DJ's company and was seen cozying up to him. I revealed Dua had grown close to Calvin last March after spending time together in the US. Dua admitted she is a big fan of Calvin and would love to collaborate with him. Later, Jack and Dua left the bash at the same time but made their way home separately. Dua would be very lucky to have a man like Jack. Rita Ora might have topped my list of drunk celebs, but it seems she wasn't as prepared to party as Jennifer Hudson. The voice coach traded stilettos for slippers at Sony's after party at the Corinthia Hotel. Abby Clancy and Holly Willoughby were among celebs joining Rita and enjoying an evening of free booze at the Freemasons Hall. Only hours later Holly was back at work presenting this morning and taste testing a pounds 50k margarita. 
care of the dog, is all right for some. Liam Gallagher might not have been warring with his brother at the awards this year, but it was still a family affair. The former Oasis singer invited his sons Gene and Lennon to watch him perform, but unintentionally also found himself partying with another of his children who he has never met. Liam headed to the Warner and Ciroc after party, where daughter Molly was a guest. She was born during his affair with singer Lisa Moorish. It was the first time Liam and Molly have been in the same place since Liam admitted in February he never got around to meeting her. Liam's not keen to meet international male winner Kendrick Lamar either. He moaned about his performance. Get on with, laying on your back smashing a car up, what was that about? Ed Sheeran stuck to his word last night, even after he won the Global Success Award. As he told me he would before the ceremony, the singer shunned the glitzy after parties for a meal with fiancé Cherry Seaborn in the capital's swanky Mayfair. He had said, usually at the Brits I walk into the party and think, I wish I'd just gone home and had a curry.